I like I feel good. Like, I get I feel like my body is like, more strong. Like I feel the strength. I feel more sturdy. I like, kind of feel like a dense object. It's a science. When you say speed, mm -hmm. do they work on like literally 40s? Or are they working on quickness? What kind of drills are you talking it's, about? Like in the outseason? It's more like it's more like we do drills to where it's like it becomes muscle memory. So when you're on the field, you don't even know that you're actually doing it, but you're you're doing the technique that we learned through the off season. So they're pretty much hampering it in our heads and and basically working till we're tired. And basically, when you work so work so hard when you're tired, same thing as when we do it out here in practice when we're working to the last the last drop of like your energy like like coach says like OBE like overcome by events and when you have to focus even more to make sure you get the technique right kind of creates a muscle memory type of thing that way when you're not tired you just do it so it's basically it. Chip Kelly obviously had really good running offenses in Oregon are you aware of how good they were and are you hoping that you guys can replicate that here I'm definitely I remember watching <laughs> I remember watching uh, uh, the Mamba watching Mariota, the whole read option. I mean, that's a good thing. But yeah, everything. I, he's just a good coach. You know, he's smart. He knows. He knows the ins and outs of the offense. So really, I just you just gotta trust in him and just do it. Do as you're saying. You know, do what you're really coach to do. And pretty much, I mean, he just wants us to go full on, full effort, 100. You know, study your plays and everything will work out for yourself. Do you think we like stylistically this offense will look similar to what you saw with the Mamba? Um, honestly, right now, all I can say is, you know, we're just working on whatever we have for us. You know, I can't really say exactly what we're going to do, but it's going to look good. I can tell you that. <laughs> but what about your role? There's a lot of guys with the uh, mix to, to get carries. How's mm -hmm. that looking right now, especially with the new guys? I mean, right now, we're just working, you know, working, trying to get the plays down. We're learning a little bit more things, too, kind of, kind of adding a little bit more than we uh, had from spring. But like I said, we're just working. Uh, all I can worry about is giving my all every day at practice and just look at the guys behind me too. So at the end of the day, we're just working in September 1st. Whatever we do out there, it's all because of this. Coach Kelly said that he put uh, Josh Kelly on scholarship mm -hmm. so he said he expected to get to get the play time. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is Josh looked out here? I think Josh has been tremendous. You know, since he came here since last year, you know, he's been working. I've never seen him do I've never seen him do type out. He's, even when he's tired, he, he goes. And it's tremendous. Like, like I said, he earned everything that comes his way. Like a scholarship. And, you know, he's, he's pushing me. He's pushing me. He's pushing the other guys. He's just been a good example. He's been a good leader. And like I said, everything's deserved for him. And this year, I mean, hopefully, everything's going to come out for him. How do you feel about the offensive line? How it's come from like when you first saw them in spring and mm -hmm. let's say Justin Murphy too. What does he add to it? Well, for the whole line, all I got to say is that they've been working. I said strength staff plus one trick, especially since he's been with them more specifically, he's been working. I, mean, I can tell you they've been putting, they've been making strides. They've been in their playbooks. They've been, you know, they've been out here on the field trying to get better. I can just see it. And with Justin Murphy, you know, great. I love his attitude. I love his attitude. You know, he's pushing the line. You know, he's, he's talking. He's getting dudes. It's pretty much trying to get dudes out of their comfort zone. You know, that's pretty much what we're doing right now. You know, trying to get out of our comfort zone of being, okay, like I'm good. Like, I'm I don't want to go too much because I'm kind of tired. It's just like you got to go harder. You got to go harder. And I think Justin he's, he helps us out with that, and um, and Coach Kelly too with the things we're learning. Like we're learning things like Zoo Tiger, where you're being complacent. We're learning how to be a jungle tiger, whereas you got to get out of your comfort zone and do things you never do. And like I said, everything's being implemented, even not only on the whole line but on the whole team. What do you think? Out. Yeah, go. Ahead. Same Mr. question. Allen, uh, where's his speed rank on the team? What you say? That's a fast dude right there. He's really, really fast. I can say he's he. I like to say he's just fast, lightning fast. But he's a good speed dude. I like him. I like his speed. Is that kind of a nice change of pace? Not to say you guys are slow, mm -hmm. but uh, no, yeah. Um, no, honestly, I love it. I love I love having guys with different attributes. Some yeah. guys who are fast, some guys may be stronger, some guys may be more agile. I like that because yeah, know, it pushes me, and at the same time, it's just like it shows the type of talent people have. You know? Especially he comes from my area, so I'm kind of proud. So I'll claim that one. How do you feel like you, the offense benefited from those player run practices to help you guys get going and move on the training camp? Uh, we all, I think we've been benefiting a lot um, because we, we've been able to come out here and just get it going. There is no, we got to 
day one, we gotta do this, day two, we gotta, it's just like, it's pretty much just what we did from spring. We kind of reminded ourselves in the summer at the same time teaching the freshmen, and they're doing a good job coming out here and executing the plays that they literally just learned like two weeks ago. And I think it's, I think altogether, the player run practices have just helped us to run practice more smoothly and more efficient. Who is kind of the, the organizer of those player run practices, at least on the offensive side? Um, it was more like a more like a team thing, and the quarterbacks had the plays, and they were they were the ones you know kind of uh, organizing everything. And we would we would go two fields, some on this field, some on the field. That way, everybody gets the reps, and everybody's learning the plays. And was there someone who sent out like you know a group text, hey, come here at this time? It was time. really it was a known thing. Like okay. summer, it was a known thing. Like after weightlifting, we'd be out here. If you if we weren't doing uh, seven on seven, we were either doing. We're either doing uh, routes or getting better somehow, you know, individual stuff. So, really, we, we were just learning that extra work is going to get us better. So, that's pretty much what we did. Is it sucking for you that this is kind of your last go around here? Honestly, I'm taking everything, you know, day by day. I'm just living in the present, you know, not really worried about the future. But, you know, my time here has been really fun. And, I mean, all I can worry, all I can really worry about is just getting better right now. That way I can leave, leave the legacy here somehow. You know? So, that's pretty much what my mind is at right now. Is there an urgency for you and maybe so so seniors to make sure you get this running game going forward again before you guys leave? Yeah, so like I said, it's just all I can do is just worry about, you know, what I can do to help, you know, the team and make people, you know, see me as an example. So as, if I can do it and people can see me do it, I, that'll start the trend of, you know, we can do this, you know. But like I said, I'm not really I'm not really worried about yards right now or worried about passing or all that. I'm just worried about getting, getting this down and getting my team together and getting us ready for the first game, September 1st. How do you like the pace going into September 1st from the team? I like it. I like it. Like I said, like she asked about the player run practices, I really think that's really helped us to be efficient. Like we've been able to come out here and just go, just go, just go. And, and the way the schedule is with camp, how we practice in the morning and the rest of the day, we're just learning in, in the offices. It's really helping us because it's, it's like studying in school. It's like studying your books and then when you come out here for the test, it's, it's nothing. You know it. And we're just adding a couple elements, the heat, going faster. That's just pretty much it. Other than that, it's to me, it's just like, you do it, you'll get better. It seems like the secondary is one area where it seems like the, uh, the starters are kind of locked down right now. What, what, how much is that helping you guys? You guys can kind of know who's going to be out there and can kind of get to work as a, as a unit right now. Uh, it's good for us, just for us to get out there, uh, good communication, just the whole camp, get us ready for the season. It's pretty good. Yeah, how do you feel like you guys are playing differently compared to last year uh, as a secondary? Uh, I think we're just... I think over the off season, our, our speed and conditioning was way better, so we were able to just get faster, get stronger. I think we'll be all right. A lot of the defensive linemen and linebackers have been talking about like the, a violent mentality. Is that transferred to the defensive backs as well? Yeah, of course, of course. I think I, I feel like we've always tried to bring a dominance from the back end to the to the game. So I think we, we're bringing that mindset as well. With them being so kind of aggressive and attacking, does that does that help you guys? It just puts more pressure on us, but we love it. You know, if we're going to blitz a lot, we're just going to be in a lot of man-man situations. So we just got to keep working at that as we go through this camp. That's kind of a contrast from last couple of years where we played more bend and not break. Mm -hmm. How do you adjust to that? And how, how does the whole secondary adjust? And are, do you want it? Are you of course, welcoming it? Of course, yeah. You just got to accept it. At the end of the day, we just got to play defense. And on our end, no matter what, we just can't allow touchdowns. We just got to be... We just got to be sound in what we do. You want to be left on an island? Of if you course. like that? Yeah, we love that. We love that. We love that. <laughs> Is there some significance to uh, you and Darnay being flopped? No. Not, no. No, we're just playing wherever coach wants, to, wants us to be. He's just playing, out of, playing where we need to be. How's Quentin Lake doing? Oh, man, he's, he, he's, he's definitely grown since last year. You see it out there. He's out there. He's, he's bringing a leader mentality out there. He knows what he's doing. And I think he's going to have a great season this year. Talk about Paul Rhodes, what he brings to the back. Uh, he just brings a different mentality to us. He, uh, he's just bringing a lot of new techniques. Like last year, we did a lot of press techniques with Coach Morton. This year, he's bringing us uh, working on off-man techniques, more zone techniques. So I think having him is pretty good for us. How about all the, the freshman DBs, some of those bigger guys yeah. like Ray Rash, Shad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. how are those tall, guys? Man. They're, They're pretty big, good. aren't yeah. they? I mean, it's, it was the first couple practices, so of course everything's going fast for them. And our up-tempo way we practice up simple so I know it's hard for them but 
they're getting better and better as we get through. They're paying attention in meetings, coming out here asking us for help, the old guys. So I think they'll be all right too as well. How good can this defense be? I altogether? think we can be real good as long as we stay technically sound and play with full, relentless effort. I think we'll be pretty good this year. How are the veterans year. dealing with the tempo? Man, it's tough. It's tough. But I think as you just go through the camp, it'll get easier and easier. Just like in spring, it was tough the first couple practices. But as you just ease into it, it gets easier and easier. So, easy. yeah, <laughs> try to make it easier. Josh Rebel tweeted that Mark Wahlberg was out here. Yeah, we just seen him right now. Yeah, I was starstruck. Low key, I love Four Brothers. I love the transfer, <laughs> trans, uh, Transformers movie. So, it's pretty good having him talk to us and give us some inspiration. Uh, he did talk to yeah, you guys. What did he say? He was just telling us to stay, stay grounded in what we do, enjoy the education, enjoy where we're at, enjoy being in college, being focused and all that, so I'm not too bad. I know you guys have had like Russell Wilson, Tom Brady out here. Is it yeah. cool or having like a, a big time athlete or a big time celebrity out here? Uh, I mean, pretty much both. I mean, yeah. we've had so many people run, run through here, it's crazy. Yeah. Like you just walk in every day and there's somebody new popping up out here, so <laughs> man, I love it, I love it. Do you look like he could play for you? Who? Uh, Ooh, man, I don't know if he could be back there with us, but okay. we could probably give him a kicker spot or something if he wants to <laughs> special teams or something. So. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. And Coach Kelly's known for kind of his attention to detail. Mm -hmm. In what ways do you think that shows the most, whether you're in, in film or out on the field? Uh, I think it's just it's just bringing a whole new mentality for us. You know, we're all being – all the coaches are emphasizing, like, attention to detail. So. I think it'll work out in the long run for us as we work through this off season. We've all really on and off the field paid attention to what we're doing. So I think it'll work uh, good for us in the end for this season. We'll show that. He, he has that thing about the zoo tiger and the jungle tiger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there any other kind of phrases or, or examples you kind of brings up that? Man, he has so many phrases for us to remember. It's, I don't even know, but the zoo tiger, jungle tiger, that was, that was the most recent one. And I think we're all trying to be jungle tigers. We don't want to be taking stuff easy and be a zoo tiger. So we just all trying to take it in and be jungle tigers.